Men of Reddit who have had an abusive wife or girlfriend, what did you do to get out of it? I dated this girl for over a year because I just couldn't figure out how to get rid of her. She was insanely jealous and any discussion of my unhappiness in our relationship just brought accusations of cheating. These inevitably led to punching and kicking. I never really felt like I could fight back. Any action to defend myself would probably have ended with me getting arrested. She was much smaller than me, so most police would most likely take her side. I was trapped. Eventually her father came to visit. The first time he and I were alone together, he immediately asked if I was okay. He said he knew how she could be. This confused me at first. I barely knew him and didn't know if I could trust him. Just told him everything was fine. It had been for a few weeks. He stayed a few days and by the end of his visit I could see he was just a cool dude who knew his daughter had issues. A couple months later I reached my breaking point. I was miserable. I just wanted her out of my life. I looked in her address book for his number and called. I told him I couldn't take it anymore and was trapped unless I defended myself with physical force. He sighed and said, Can you hang on till Thursday? He told me he'd make the eight-hour drive to my house if I could wait a few days. On Thursday afternoon we were standing in the kitchen when there was a knock on the door. She answered, surprised to see her dad. What are you doing here, dad? He just shrugged and stared at me. I blurted it out. I'm breaking up with you. We're done. She charged at me with clenched fists, but he was ready. He grabbed her from behind and put her in a full Nelson hold. She was dragged like this across my driveway and thrown into the back seat of his car. The last time I saw her she was trying to kick out his rear window as he drove away. There's a good possibility I may owe my life to that dude. I feel really bad for him. She was otherwise a wonderful person, but if she lost her temper, look out. Hopefully she found help. Emotional abuse counts possibly? My ex and I were together for a total of six one two years. Through that time she did nothing but complain about how I never do anything to make her life easier even though I worked my ass off at my job, at school, trying to help her with her school, her job, keeping her house up to date electrical wise etc. She would put me down any chance she got, talking shit on my family on a regular basis, telling me my hobbies were outdated and noon would respect me with them. My music, taste in movies, my friends, even my dreams they were all shit to her. I told her about my career choice of training to be a police officer, and she just put me down telling me I would never make it. Told her I wanted to move out of state to Arizona, and she called me a fucking moron because I wanted to be closer to my family and I loved the desert. I started to shun my family and friends because I was just scared of the arguments. I started showing signs of depression, and she would just tell me I had no reason to be depressed. She started to threaten me with a breakup every chance that she got. Play mind games with me and then, for no reason at all, give me the silent treatment for days. There was no hand-holding, no kissing, no hugs. Especially if we were out in public. Once she started to bring up me moving out I finally realized what was going on. My friend took me in and I immediately up and left. She got pissed off at me for it, like everything else, and I just said fuck it and changed my phone number. Since then I have gotten incredibly close to one of my good friends and she now wants to go out on a date with me. We have a hell of a lot in common, and her family loves me. She makes me feel wanted and appreciated. So to all of you. Remember, there are other women out there that will appreciate us for who we are, for what we do, and will make us feel amazing. Keep your heads up and don't let anyone get in the way of your dreams or who you are. I would classify my ex as an emotionally abusive and manipulative person. This culminated in her cheating on me, denying it when I found out, and then trickle-truthing me and our group therapist for months. I eventually decided that I had gained everything I could from our group sessions and ended all contact with her. I blocked her everywhere. Months later, she contacted me through chat of all things, saying that she had information that affected my health and that I would suffer the consequences if I did not reply. I did, and was told a few things. 1. She allegedly had hepatitis C, doubtful, really, since it is so rare to get from hospitals. 2. She had seen our therapist, who now totally agreed that I was at fault, a lie, since I had seen her only a week before for an individual session, and she mentioned having not seen my ex in months. 3. She was now seeing two other therapists that both agreed that I was a villain, whatever. 
after our conversation, during which I told her that I thought she was a dangerous person for me to be around, she contacted many mutual friends on Facebook and told them that I was unsupportive during her time of need. Several of them, mostly those who only knew me as her boyfriend, unfriended me. No big loss. I got tested for STDs just in case, was found clean, and haven't heard from her since. My sister's partner was abused by his ex-girlfriend for ten years. The only reason he left was two of his friends literally kidnapped him to save his life quite truly. She nearly killed him twice, once by breaking a marble chopping board in his head. His friends took him out to the country, and he realized he could survive on his own. He has a PTSD, depression, and his epilepsy had got worse over the years since probably because of the head injuries he sustained from her. We've been slowly supporting him to break the conditioning she left him with. He will apologize for anything even if it isn't his doing. He has improved over the years I've known him, and he has supported my sister greatly after she lost her husband. She cherishes him for his utter selflessness, loving nature and the joy he takes in being loved without cruelty. Be happy and loved by someone who truly deserves you. X was a fighter. In other words, her emotional response to pretty much anything was to get pissed off and pick an argument. All of the following happened, some several times. Had a bad day at work, pick a fight about dinner. Flight was delayed, here comes an argument over text. Didn't like the music playing in the gym, started an argument with me. She didn't like the music in a public place so dragged me into an argument. She loved to debate and would pick apart not just every word I said but the inflection in every word. The arguments could be about anything. She was a master at finding a single minor detail and then picking at the edges of it until she worked herself until a rage and blew up. It finally got too much when I was having anxiety attacks and developing hand tremors. I was trying to think all the way through conversations before they happened so that I wouldn't say anything to set her off. It was like a switch flipping when it went. One minute I was groveling and trying to talk my way out of another argument. The next I just calmly said, Enough is enough. I can't do this anymore. And hung up the phone. Haven't spoken to her since. Here's another one. She was extremely intelligent. Book smart and extremely egotistical about her intelligence. I'm a published author, and she tried to correct me on a word usage in a text message one time. I wasn't going to back down on that one, though I politely told her I was right. When it escalated and she insisted she was right I finally sent her the dictionary.com definition that showed I was right. She was furious and called me, yelled for a while, and hung up on me. All because she couldn't let me be right about a pointless text message. Went to jail for it. She bit my face and clawed my arms, both drawing blood, and the cops were called. She was taken away, but I ended up being charged a few days later because she was smaller than me. I got a shit lawyer and had to take a plea. Spent five days in jail. After that I moved home with my parents, restarted at a community college, ended up with my BA, and later on, a master of education, and moved to a new state. My life is great now. Wish I'd known how to get out of that sooner, and with less damage. I lucked out, she broke into my house and attempted to steal my dogs, smashing a bunch of family heirlooms. Cops were called, and since her mailing address was still at my residence, they couldn't compel her to leave and it wasn't technically breaking and entering. The cop had his floodlight on us, and she, like many times before, lost it and began punching me in the face. They then gave me an order of no trespass, barring her for one year's time, since she committed assault against me. This is how I, lucked out, because no matter how many times I told her to leave, nor the fact we broke up stopped her from showing up at all hours of the night, or whenever she wanted to, to start yelling and physically attacking me. As far as the abuse went, it was both mental and physical. A few times stand out, chasing my car through my neighborhood with self-inflicted razor blade cuts down her leg, uncontrollably punching me in the face and my only recourse was to put her in a straight jacket, hold I learned in an applied nonviolence class for work, and keep her in it for about 45 minutes. She also threatened to harm herself if I ever called cops on her. Again, this comes back to the lucking out. I hope we're counting emotional and verbal abuse. The simple answer is that I let her leave, taking the risk that she might try to hurt herself in retaliation. She'd use breaking up, and veiled threats of subsequent suicide, as a tool to guilt and control me. Drove all my friends away. I wasn't even talking to my roommate hardly, 
a man I consider my brother and quite possibly my closest friend and who lived in the next room. Constant belittling of my friends, extending to harassment in the case of female friends. Did the hot and cold thing, one minute praising me like I hung the moon, the next minute accusing me of being a cheater or of wanting to cheat. It was fucking weird, looking back. When she started trying to weasel her way in between me and my family, I knew I had to take the chance that she might hurt herself to get back at me after breaking up. I woke up one morning to screamed accusations of cheating and threats to leave and put herself out of her misery, and I just sort of raised my head off my pillow and mumbled all right, I'll drive you to your parents' house in a bit. She was shocked. I knew immediately that I'd made the right decision, because she looked like a kid whose sandcastle had just been kicked over. I just left the job we both worked at. Obviously, she had to keep the leash taut. I heard from a couple people there who actually knew me firsthand that she did indeed attempt. I never found out the method. I wasn't interested in hearing details. After recovering, she proceeded to talk about how horrible I'd been to her, confirming every asinine grapevine rumor she could. Never mind the fact that I rarely had any more than twenty minutes out of her sight at a time. A few of my female co-workers put in for transfers, since she fingered them as cohorts of my infidelity, and they instantly became personas non grata. I spent a good couple weeks blocking the death threats and hate messages from jealous exes and new suitors, don't ever try to get her back, blah blah blah. I didn't care at that point. I had honestly been pushed to the point that I had to cut the toxicity out of my life, even if it had cost her hers. I haven't dated in the years since. Just the knowledge that I was pushed to the point of not caring if a woman killed herself bothers me. I know I'm not responsible and that she's sick, but I'd rather never do anything like that again. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.